Welcome back. I'm Jay. We got Steve right here. This is the Heads Up Show. We talk about your pictures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, send in your pics. This show is all about you. So if you want to see your helmets, field use, collectible, doesn't matter, email them to pics at greengridiron.com. Email is right here. Jay goes over the helmets and tells you what you might be able to do to improve it, kind of critiques it. I go through the photos, help you get the best pictures that you can, and we try to move along. So yeah. we've, we've been doing uh, good. <laughs> I, have, I haven't seen any of these photos yet. Uh, Steve, you've curated them a little bit. I, I yeah. think I'm going to be pretty hard today. Ooh, all right. I'm going to go out. On, I'm going to go. I'm going to push myself to be harder than normal. No Mr. Nice Guy today. There are some really choice pictures in here and like exemplary uh, we'll see photographs. About that. We'll see about that. I'm going to tear them apart. All right. First up is Ethan. He says, hey, I'm Ethan. I play football at Griswold High School. I play varsity, free safety, wide receiver, and I love your videos. Thanks, Ethan. Ethan, the Green Bay Packers, they're the only NFL team that does not license their logo. Yeah. Okay. So if yeah. you want to use a logo from any NFL team, Technically, you can't use it or you can't profit off of that logo, um, except for the Packers. They did it, which is how Georgia wears the exact same logo, just different color scheme. Got to go with the other G. Than the Packers, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with uh, Ethan's school using this logo. So here's what we got going on here. We've got a Speedflex helmet. We've got the SF 2BDSW face mask. We've got a Sports Star chin strap. All in white. Looks unbranded, but I can't really tell. I don't see the whole straps in there. We've got Sports Star uh, adapters on the bottom uh, where the cam lock would normally go. So we got four snaps on here. Actually, we got two snaps on the bottom. Um, but then up top, we've got the strap lock that was painted white. This actually looks like you can kind of see the black coming through a little bit. A little bit, bit. yep. Uh, which means there was probably spray painted to match the helmet, which a lot of teams, well, actually, any of the colored. Can, uh, strap locks that you see college and NFL using. They're painted. They're being painted at the factory to match the helmet. It even, Could be. Uh, even worse. And then we got a green gridiron bumper on the front. And this is an Under Armour visor. It looks pretty green. Uh, all of those things I just listed off, I love. They're great. It looks awesome with the white strap lock really just kind of tops it all off. And I like that he just got rid of the cam lock or the strap lock or you know the ratchet and just went with the adapter yeah. you like what you like great photos man way to take that thing outside and get that nice winter look to it what are you giving ethan uh let's go ethan let's go with a 7.2 oh wow okay yeah that's good that's fine yeah. yep that's yeah. that's setting the steve, bar steve does not approve <laughs> all right next up is tanner and he says hey i'm tanner this is an idea my dad and i came up with a cool fresh design for my school football team, Southland Academy Raiders in Georgia. Uh, they ordered a Riddell Speed Victor and a bunch of other stuff from us, so we really appreciate that. And he said, thanks, for guys, for helping me get with this build. Couldn't have done it without you. I love the picture of the front. It is, like, so perfectly composed. And, yeah, it's all spray paint. And for a thing that's going to sit on your shelf, that's cool. Yeah, absolutely. I would, um, to make this better, I would put a visor in here. Uh, because visors just make every helmet better, in my opinion. This has the chin strap delete option, mm -hmm. which I think it might have to pay extra extra for sometimes. <laughs> uh, it looks like they were tried to kind of peel a little bit at the warning label to get that off there. Got to um, use a heat gun. Got to use a heat gun. I guess you could use a hair dryer on high, right? For, for probably a good 10 minutes, yeah. yeah. You really have to kind of go to it. But a heat gun, you got to be careful because you don't want to start screwing up the paint. Yeah, and you can do that very quickly. Yeah, so um, you can, you know, give give that a shot. And then we use this stuff called, it's like a citrus spray, mm -hmm. uh, air, air freshener, and, and kind of really wipe it down to get all of the adhesive off of there. I love the fact that this is probably not something they do all the time. It's a cool father and son project, and we appreciate that we were a part of it. I yeah, mean, how I cool think is this, that? I think this is great. Uh, and for everything that you did and put into it, I think you're getting a bang-up job. So I'm mm -hmm. going to go for a, the father and son uh, duo tag team on this guy. Let's go, Steve, with a 7.2. <laughs> okay, why do I sense a nice even keel score? Here we go with Michael B. Nice. Oh, boy. Nice. Oh, wow. Michael leads with the head a lot. Jesus, this almost <laughs> looks like... Are you all right, bro? <laughs> Woo. Yeah. How's the head? Right? 
How great, though. The rule is if you see red, you shoot it. And he said, hey, it's snowed out. It's actually snowing. He's putting that bitch outside. And, man, that thing is beautiful. I like the decals on the back, how they're all kind of lined up. <laughs> yeah. Nice and evenly. Yeah. Um, I like, I mean, this thing has been through hell and back. Uh, it's a shut helmet. So, you know, shut vengeance. Um, so uh, I think this is really cool. So this helmet is going to get a grade for a field used mm -hmm. and abused helmet a lot of love and a lot of hard work went into getting that helmet just like that and every little scratch means something to him That's so right. i'm going to go with steve this is way higher than it should be i'm going to go with 7.8 excellent and you know that the the pictures really helped that and he was even so careful about putting it in the snow I as like to snow. not disturb the not area the great work michael all right next up is jace he says, hey, I'm Jace. I'm from San Antonio, Texas, and he's a quarterback and defensive back. I love your channel. There's two things in this helmet that are from your store, the tin strap buckles and the cardinal red face mask. My dream school is Stanford, so we thought he'd make a Stanford-themed build. Why not? Keep up the good work. Thanks for your time. We've got a couple of things here that I like. So we not only do we have uh, the face mask, this would be the XRS21. Whoa. Okay, you got that? We don't see too many Zenith ones. I've, we used to go through a lot of them, but not so much anymore. We got the white clips. Those come with the helmet. Uh, and we've got the chin strap that has some white buckles on there. I can't tell if those are Sports Star or not. Yeah. Really hard to tell, but you got the Douglas Easy Pro Snaps. See, that's the 2019 product of the year. It sure was. If you remember, I love those dubbed, things. Dubbed by Jay. Was, yeah, absolutely. Uh, overall, this thing looks great for the shelf. Um, and I don't know. I got to kind of... I, there's not a whole lot to say because it's a pretty standard build, but you yeah. kind of nailed everything. I would actually take the, the decals and turn them just a little bit um, because you want to make sure that you use the top of the brow line of the face mask as kind of your new horizon because when you wear the helmets on your head, the helmet kind of points down a little bit. Um, so when it sits flat, it yeah, should actually be... lean back a little, probably about 15 degrees or so. Yeah, okay. I mean, but hey, dude, you did a good job. Thank you for your purchases. And stop shooting that poor chair with oh, a, was that like a BB shot? gun or something. What the hell did you do to that chair, my friend? Woodpecker? <laughs> I don't know, man. That's a, you know, that's a you'll shoot your eye out BB gun if you ask me. <laughs> well, maybe that's going to get it some bonus points. So uh, for this guy here, converting a white helmet into a nice Stanford Cardinal helmet, Steve, I'm going to go with a 7.2. Okay, all right. How do you get a higher score? Put a visor in it. Easy, yeah, easy, easy peasy. All right, next up is Oliver. He says, thanks so much, guys. I think this Oakley visor brings this zero one to life. This helmet is still a work in progress, but it's getting there. Go Cougs. All right, Oliver. Simple, easy. Yeah, uh, so I'm, I'm speechless because I'm kind of looking it all over. We don't see too many um, vices helmets that are turned into display pieces. But I think that this one kind of has all the telltale signs of something that's got some good progress. You know, I, I love the black theme with the the blue and the white. The only white anywhere on here is in the Y and in the Sports Star foam of the Sports Star cup. I guess on, and there's a couple of decals in the back of the head. Yeah. You know, that doesn't really count, though. <laughs> uh, you got the Oakley O on there. So Oliver here decided to put a regular oakley visor however oakley do, does make a specific visor just for the uh, vices helmets and so that would fit in there well but you know a regular oakley one looks just fine this actually looks like it's been used and played in so i'm wondering if this is like your high school helmet uh, that you've now graduated and then you, you found the decals online you kind of threw them on there um, what do you think, Steve? I mean, I, I think I like the simplicity of it being all flat black. The unbranded visor clips are cool. The pictures are just good enough. He took them outside, which I really love. And yeah, I mean, it's a work in progress, like you said, but I like seeing the steps. And when it's done, get us more picks. For work in progress, let's go with a 7.2 for now, Steve. Okay. It seems to be a hot number of the day. <laughs> yeah. And then um, I want to see what it looks like later as when that work in progress stops. I mean, we can put that back in there too. Fair enough. Thanks, man. Next up is Nicholas. He says, this is my speed flex with an SF kicker face mask. I play for Southwest Florida Gladiators. Very clean. And I like this. Wow, that, that mask is great. 
It is. It's just unique. I don't know if it's it, just like I don't know if it's great or not. I mean, you can get the football in there, which kind of defeats the purpose of having a mask in the first place. He's a I, kicker. I guess it'll protect. Like if he takes a hit, though, I know kickers can take hits. Well, Typically they, they try not to. Yeah, I guess the good ones aren't taking hits, but. Um, not much going on in the back. I mean, this is pretty plain Jane when you think about it, but that mask, I think, really takes it to another level. You got the TCP chin strap on here, hard cup. It's, I mean, everything is just in white, and then you got the green and the silver. The silver looks nice, even though I don't know if the silver really is necessary. It's almost not even, I was just going to say, it's almost not even necessary, but it works. And I like he rotated the chin strap straps perfectly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, you could tell... This guy, he knows what he's doing, mm -hmm. and he's probably just anxious to get out there and play with it because it looks mm -hmm. brand new. And I like like the background here. Is that is this up against the wall? I don't. It almost looks like one of those sound deadening, like yeah. a, in a cubicle Something. kind of thing. He's probably at work, like sneaking pics of his helmet. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. It works. It works. Really, uh, really simple and clean again. I'm, and I'm going to give it the highest score of the day, Steve. I'm going to go with an eight point one. Look at that, man. Good job, Nicholas. Yeah, wow. Nice. Yeah, you got Jay with that one. Next up is Evan. These are so good. Longtime yeah. Bills fan here in North Carolina, trying to eventually build a Jim Kelly era speed flex. Uh, I'd love for you guys to build it on the show. Until then, here is my small collection. A Jim Kelly speed flex. That could be interesting. Okay, okay. Excellent work with the pictures. All right, yeah, so, oh, yeah. These are pretty nice, Steve. Yeah, the, I mean, the photos are phenomenal, right? Dude dude has a great eye for composition. I don't even know if he knows it, but, I mean, these are really be nicely taken recently done. Because that sun is so low in the oh, sky. Oh, yeah, and this is that North Carolina, nice dormant Bermuda grass that's supposed to be brown like so, that. It's so sexy and So in, in the winter. Excellent, really. I mean, he even, like, here's a lesson on composition. If you're going to cut off one side of the picture, you have to cut off the other. I mean, like, genuinely, this guy nailed it. Yeah, I mean, some of these are, are, are nice enough, you know, in the in throughout the building, we have nice uh, metal prints. Like, any one of these could be a metal print that you hang on the hall yeah. or hang on the wall in I, the hall. I don't know what he shot this with. It's definitely what they real camera it's not a phone on portrait mode i i don't know but how do you feel about every single picture is like a different dimension yeah i mean i don't love that but i know why he did it because he probably cropped it to be yeah. his way and some of this and, you, and steve you know me i like why the wider the better <laughs> i know you do um, some of it might be me the way that i screenshotted these yeah, because okay. i wanted to see, <laughs> maybe okay. see it a certain way but evan Picks of the day for me. And as far as the helmets go, I think that they're all great. I, I can't tell. Is that an embossed tech yeah. flag? I think it is. It's an embossed yeah. tech flag. The red so warning a lot label. Of little, a lot of little upgrades on here. The red warning label. You got some with a free bu bumper. I love the one with the red buff, just the red buffalo. That's yep. fantastic. Um, all of these are super clean. We've got some with Under Armour uh, visor clips. We've got some with Oakley visor clips. Uh, we've got a couple of different brands of visor here. One with an Oakley, one with a Shock Zero G. I love how you got the sun just screaming off of that visor. Yep. Right? That is the sun, right? Oh, yeah. Really nicely done. It's it's so good. All oh, this is good. Yeah. Beautiful helmets, too. I'm going to get you. Know, this, is, this is an average score when you give one, when you send in a photo with more than one helmet. So, Steve, I'm still going to go 9 0. Yeah. Got and to. Okay. Yeah. The pictures help for sure. And a 9.999 yeah, right. for the pictures for me, man. Fantastic. Great work. Love it. Next up is Danny S. And he says, What's going on, Jay and Steve? Been a fan of the Heads Up show since the beginning. Thanks, man. Uh, Y'all become an inspiration for me to start building my own helmets. Yeah, well, that's cool. I mean, or Oregon Ducks Ohana helmet? Hmm. Well, let's see. Yeah, let's see. This uh, that's cool. is quite a helmet. They didn't wear this, did they? Ohana. I'm assuming Ohana is like a Hawaiian sure. um, name for, you know, maybe the tattoos. Korean Hohana. I, right. I would imagine. So that's exactly what I pictured. We're really showing our ignorance here. So we need a further <laughs> explanation below of what Ohana is and means. I feel bad because I've been to Hawaii. It sounds like a very Hawaiian thing. Come on, man. Nobody told me. You missed that one. Dude, the back of this thing looks insane. 
that lime green and blue always looks good together and that is an oakley jade visor on there yeah couldn't have been a better choice no uh, yeah this looks great and the, the custom 3d bumpers we actually supply custom 3d bumpers to tons of teams if you're a coach or you're a player who has a coach that's looking to really jazz up the helmet 3d bumpers are the way to go uh and we can help you with that just to give us a call but everything about this is it, you know it all just works together for Did sure he took this with his phone and it is as good as you can get he lined this one up like the edges of the table it is perfectly straight like real thought went into this it's a ridiculous amount of spacing man you did so good with these pictures danny really nice nice work i i wouldn't have noticed anything. it's it's meticulous and that does not happen by mistake so well i'm only here to talk about the helmet and i think the decals were put on very nicely and the design <laughs> and the decals look great it really you know, are you had that you got the ear hole that you cut out and the vents you got cut out personally i don't do that because it, to me it's an extra step that if you don't do it right you can really screw up the whole thing quickly and but i do think when it's done it's done right it is worth it and it makes it look really nice yeah um and it's something that i would do if i you know for, for my own collection i would do it when we're just doing stuff you know none of the the, the teams don't do it right no a lot don't. of well some of the teams do but most of the teams don't do it right right um they just kind of lay them over and they land where they land so uh, that that that's the one piece on there that I, I really kind of wanted to mention and talk about. Okay. Overall, Steve, I'm going to go with an eight point two on this guy. Excellent, and another nine point nine 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 with the photos. Custom decals, custom three bumpers, upgraded face mask. The whole thing looks great. Yeah. Great, great work. Keep your photos coming. Email the best pictures you can to pics at greengridiron.com. And thank you again for watching. Yes, P-I-C-S at greengridiron.com. It's an email address. Right. Uh, thank you so much again. Leave your comments below. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Until next time, cheers. Cheers.